Hey, I'm Alan. And I'm Jason. I'm Harris. I'm Gray. And you're watching Groovy, Groovy TV. TV. <laughs> it's Groovy TV. <laughs> Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Alan and Jason of the Vampire Vic Trilogy here at the Al Alamo Draft House, Denver, Colorado. How's it going, gentlemen? Very, very good. Oh, Thanks yeah. for having us out at the uh, the uh, Horror Film Festival. Right on. Yeah, yeah very cool. How yeah. about you, sir? Uh, yeah, we are uh, very happy to be here. Right on. Yeah. And you even left Oktoberfest to be here. It's ridiculous. It's a big sacrifice. <clears throat> Bigger for some than others. <laughs> All right, so I'm super stoked. Um, the second in the trilogy is out. Uh, tell me all about it. Well, um, it's the second um, book of the trilogy. Cause it's uh, Vampire Vic to the Second Power, Morbius Reborn. Mm -hmm. um, and it follows up our top ten indie hit uh, from two years ago, a year and a half ago, two years ago. Congratulations on that. Yeah, thanks. Thank and we're hoping to kind of just ride the wave and, and move on to our you know, second and third book. Awesome. So, so what's the vibe and the feel of the books? Book one, uh, kind of a goofy, offbeat vampire tale. You get a little taste of a vampire Vic. He is not your not your ordinary vampire. He's got some problems. He's got problems in his life before he becomes a vampire. And then it only gets worse when he becomes a vampire. He thinks, hey, becoming a vampire, you know, all my problems are solved. I'm gonna I'm gonna get sexy. I'm gonna grow my hair back. Uh, and it, it just doesn't work that way. <laughs> How does it work? Well, like, you know, for him, the, the bite, you know, was almost unfortunate. You know, he thought, like, like Alan said, that would really change his life for the better because he kind of, he's just kind of no man, sort of no nonsense, sort of doofus in an office. Wife um, is divorced, divorced from his wife who still lives with him because of uh, the, the cost efficiency. Um, so she, um, you know, stays in his bed in his house, and um, the the blood that he you know needs or desires is actually less than a desire and more of a diabetic sugar low. Okay. So he has to have the blood to survive, like vampires do. But he's just really not into the biting. He doesn't think it's morally right. Okay. He had a lot of moral issues with that. Doesn't like the idea of even drinking blood. So a lot of times, you know, you'll find out in the very beginning of the book, he drinks a lot of what we call bloody bloody Marys. <laughs> and um, you know he cuts the blood with more and more vodka, and then mm -hmm. you know has his has his alcohol hangover in the morning. But at least he has his blood rush. Um, so he's an alcoholic and a vampire. Well, I, he <laughs> wouldn't admit the alcoholic problem, but he probably has an issue. <laughs> <laughs> so he has, basically he has a drinking problem and a sucking problem. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't suck, which is kind of the sucks. whole which sucks. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't way. suck. So and then eventually, um, partway through that book, he does eventually bite somebody and life changes. And mm -hmm. as you see, things change for him, for the better and for the worse. Right. Um, and then we get on to the second book, Vampire Vic to the Second Power, Morbius Reborn, where he ramps it up, you know, and it's, 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 um, it's a lot of fun to read and write. And um, the, the trilogy, is, it's, it's a riot. And it's, 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 um, it takes him to places where he didn't think he was going to go it takes him to the there's a vampire but there's a curse that he's involved in and then there's morbius which is a third character and it's and it's, it's um it's just a it's a riot right on. so you co-write you've co-written many many things like how do you work together without stabbing each other that uh sometimes that's a little bit of a challenge there yeah. has been stabbing <laughs> yeah so with the knife ones <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, you know, it's kind of like a marriage. We've talked about this before. It, uh, you got you to let a lot of the little stuff slide uh, and, and recognize the deeper, the deeper relationship and all the benefits that we get. The things that I couldn't get, I've been writing for a long time and uh, I love to do it. And uh, Jason has a coffee shop in Castle Rock, Crowfoot Valley Coffee. So I would go in there and write. And uh, Jason would, I would, I would uh, sometimes eavesdrop on some of the tales that Jason would be telling his customers. And one thing led to another, uh, and next thing you know, we're, we first put together a compilation of stories from Jason's past. Okay. Uh, true, true, strange, but true fiction, or nonfiction. fiction Nonfiction. Oh, wow. And, That's uh, really cool. Yeah. Oh, what's that about? 
Well, it's actually um, mostly about, I grew up in uh, Alaska and Washington State. And so it was actually kind of a tribute book, tribute book from my father. Um, uh, it was, uh, him and I grew up fishing a lot. And then our only way of communicating was fishing. Um, he was not a very co good communicator, loved me and that kind of thing, but I, and I knew he loved me. But And so a lot of the, the stories have to do with um, things that happened in Washington, Alaska, fishing stories, and things that were, I mean, th different things that happened to me. I, I, you know, I fell down in chest waders one time in, in a river in Alaska and almost drowned and broke out of jail once. And, and so... Just once, come on. Just once. <laughs> and so we had these kind of stories, and then at the end of each story, these short, there's like 14 short stories, there's a recipe and stuff. So it's a recipe book. Fun, fun book, and actually we're going to reprise that probably in the next year or two, and awesome. and, and do a ten, I think it's a ten year anniversary on that book. That's really cool. So where can everyone find all your works and buy everything and that good stuff? We're on Amazon. We're on Barnes and Noble. So on Amazon, we've got uh, you'll find the print version, you'll find the Kindle version. Okay. Barnes and Noble, we got the e version, the print version, the whole deal. It, pretty much anywhere you go, yeah, you should be able to find us. You can go to our website harrisgray.com, okay. uh, gray with an A. Uh, and we've got little videos out there. We try to try to uh, be entertaining beyond the beyond the, the books themselves. Nice. Yeah. So is Harris and Gray like your pseudonyms, or are we do like is this the whole scoop now that everyone's gonna know who you are? Yeah. Well, exactly. So it's, it's Alan Harris and Jason Gray. Okay. So we did Harris Gray. Um, we just thought we thought, we thought it, it sounded like a really fancy T, and so we decided to go ahead and do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. This is Groovy. I'm here with Alan and Jason of the Vampire Vic Trilogy and a whole bunch of other stuff. You just, I mean, there's dozens and things, and you've done so much. No, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. I appreciate it. Come here. <laughs> supposed to bite me. You got a mark, though. You're bleeding. I may, have gone, I may have gone too rough. I'm sorry. <laughs> You made it a chiropractic appointment for that one. <laughs> it's worth it.